Man, I love level barn fishing. Who cares if I'm the reason that others can't fish because I'm constantly hitting the mob cat? He's right behind me. Is now let's lay out the three fundamentals of sea creatures. Their loot, mechanics, and commodity. Okay, cool, they're laid out. The Lava Flame has four drops, consisting of a guaranteed 40 Magma Fish, one Flaming Heart, and the chance to drop a Flaming Chestplate and a Flame Die. Now let's just get the Flame Die out of the way. You and I both know we are not dropping that, and it's not even the best die with the rose red texture. Unbiased. Now 40 Magma Fish is cool, but you know what also gives 40 Magma Fish? A Bronze Silver Skitter. How do you lose to this, this thing? That's, that's honestly just embarrassing. I mean, come on. Flaming hearts are used for a singular recipe, though they're also necessary in order to star lava rods, which is something, I guess. And the flaming chestplate. Look, it's a cool chestplate, but you know what you unlock three fishing levels later? Thunder armor. It's good for the three fishing levels, sure, but this thing is about as necessary as DJ Khaled's project. Moving on to the mechanics is where the sea creatures' utter atrocities truly shine. Upon being fished up, the lava blaze will fling backwards and then float before it begins shooting fireballs at you. Fortunately, their aim is about the opposite of HS Fearless's Valorant aim, but once it manages to land just one of its fireballs, you will be sent flying. Here's the weird thing though. These fireballs, for some godforsaken reason, deal true knockback. For reference, Master Mode Golder, one of the strongest bosses in the game that flings gigantic swords and a barrage of wither skulls, does not deal true knockback. But this rotating french fry looking ass does? Are you serious? There is quite literally another blaze sea creature that also comes from lava fishing and is nearly identical to the lava flame, except its fireballs don't deal true knockback, as they should. Now I know what you're saying, can't you just turn around and kill it before it can spew any fireballs? Yeah, you can. But you know what that is? That's downtime! The commodity of a sea creature is quite important, more than you may think. I mean, imagine if you had to fight a range rake every 13 catches. You'd make a ton of money, but it wouldn't be very fun, wouldn't it? Now take away the part where you make a ton of money from it, and you have the Lava Flame. You want to know the worst part about all this? There is a person sick enough to dedicate their Minecraft identity to this disgrace of a sea creature. You're probably thinking, what sick person would do such a thing? Fortunately for you, I have just the answer. Their name is Jeremy Joshua Russell. This is where Jeremy Joshua Russell lives. I will be sending Jeremy Joshua Russell a visit when he's expecting. 